Hello everyone, it's Dr. Gupta at the Dermatology Laser and Vein Center, and today we're going to do a treatment for hyperhidrosis of the underarms. So this is excess sweating, and a lot of patients do have this problem. We don't know exactly what causes it. Sometimes it runs in families, but not all the time. And the most common areas of hyperhidrosis are the definitely the underarms. And the second most common area we see are probably the palms, followed by the scalp and the forehead line. Um, I have treated hyperhidrosis also in the lower back, the groin area, and feet. So pretty much any part of the body where there is an excess amount of sweat that is interfering with your life, we can go ahead and inject those areas with Botox. It stops the release of the sweat and uh, it does not cause any problems in your overall health. You're still able to excrete toxins and uh, regulate your body temperature just fine, even if we get rid of all the sweating from your scalp or other parts of your body. Um, it's a very safe procedure. It just takes a few minutes and it's small, tiny little injections of the neurotoxin into the area of the sweating. Um, it can last anywhere from three months and I've seen it even last up to nine months or even a year sometimes. And then you can repeat the procedure so that you can keep it under control. A lot of patients who may not technically have hyperhidrosis but just don't like to sweat in the summertime because they don't wanna ruin their silk clothing and whatnot, you can do this procedure as well to not sweat. So that is it. And then to start the procedure, we did what's called a starch iodine test. So we put a little bit of a iodine uh, solution on the skin, followed by cornstarch, which is the white powdery stuff you're seeing. And then when the patient is sweating, you can see where those sweat glands are more concentrated. So that is where we want to really inject our Botox. Not all patients end up sweating for us. <laughs> and if that happens, then I pretty much know I still need to treat in in this region in general, but it's always nice to get a positive sweat test. And then we can always follow up with another sweat test after the procedure. Um, and we should not be seeing those black spots appear. Uh, so that's it for the starch test. I'm gonna get the Botox ready and then you can check me out injecting the area. Okay, so we're going to start the injecting now. And just a very small little poke. So after treating the first side, now you can see more sweating occurring on the contralateral side because of a little bit of the needle punctures. And so we will be able to inject this side next. <laughs> 